All right, so we have Node.js installed, and the first script that I want to write, or that I want to show you, is just a very simple web server. And if you've watched any other Node.js videos, you may have came across this example here, which is on the Node the Node.js.org uh, homepage, and it's just a, a couple lines of code, and basically it's an HT, it's a it's a server. It's going to um, create HTTP headers and a request and a response. Um, and it's doing this using the HTTP module. Uh, Node has modules that you can use. Um, it has what's called NPM or the Node Package Manager where you can uh, download different modules to do different things. In this case, we're using the HTTP module and this is how you will you would include it okay you'd create a variable and set it to require and then whatever the module alright so here we're getting the HTTP HTTP uh, module then we're using the create server method okay and that takes a callback function which takes two parameters request and response then we are writing the header alright so response dot right head 200 means it's good it's okay um, we're setting the content type to just text and then we're ending it but we're also adding in something that we want to print out on the screen which would be hello world and then finally we want to use listen to assign the port to the to the IP address okay so this is obviously this is the loopback IP same as local host and port 1337 and then we're just simply logging um, just printing out that the server is running and then the IP address and the port so that's the entire script uh, I'm gonna do something very similar to this except uh, I want to use the connect module with this the way it is now it's just gonna print out hello world I want to actually be able to serve static web pages alright so <clears throat> let's close that up and let's see I'm just going to on my C drive I'm gonna create a new folder and just call it node apps and what I'm gonna do is create a JavaScript file called server.js and I just want to make sure that extensions are showing uh, let's see alright so by default this is saying hide empty I mean sorry hide extensions for known file types I want to uncheck that I want to be able to see the extensions or you can see this is server.js.txt we don't want that and I would advise you to do the same if you're using Windows uh, all you need to do is go to our organized folder and search options and then view and then you'll find it here I also want to show hidden files alright and I want to change the default program for JavaScript files I want to change it to uh, notepad++ which is in the program files folder obviously you can use any editor you want uh, for just simple stuff I like to use notepad++ alright so here's our this is gonna be our app this is gonna be the well actually I should this is gonna be the only JavaScript file I want to be able to serve HTML pages alright so the first thing we want to do is say variable connect and that's gonna go to the connect module alright and we want to assign a port so I'm gonna create a variable called port and we're gonna set that to 3000 alright now I'm gonna use the create server method so connect dot create server and inside create server um, we're gonna say connect connect dat static so what we're doing here is assigning a directory 
for our static HTML pages. And we want to use the directory we're in, so we can use uh, two underscores and then dir name. All right. Um, and then we want to just remove that and we want to put a dot listen. All right. So we want to listen on 3000, which we uh, put in a variable. So we can just say listen port. And then finally, we just want to say console dot log. Um, we'll say connected via port, and then we can just concatenate on port. All right, so that's our entire server. So let's save that. And one thing we need to do before we run this, we need to install the Connect app, the Connect uh, module. So we want to go to, I'm going to go to my C drive and note, whoop, note apps. And then to run a script, to run a JavaScript file, all we need to do is say node server.js, all right? Um, because the, the server.js is in the same directory, so we don't need to have any folder names. Um, but we could also just say node server. All right, so having an issue here. Unexpected token. Uh, I'm sorry, that needs to come off, that semicolon. All right, so let's try that again. Can't find module connect. That's because we didn't install it, which that's what I was just coming to do. Uh, so to install a module, we want to use npm. All right, so all we need to do is say npm uh, install connect. And it goes through this mumbo jumbo. And I think I'll do a video on NPM itself just so we can just so you can understand more about it and how it works. Now, since we installed the module, if we go back to node apps, you'll see this node modules directory. And it automatically creates that when you install a module from NPM. Alright, and we have our connect. And then this is just basically all the files for the connect. Alright. Um, and you can even see the modules that it uses. But we're not going to get into that. We don't need to. So now let's try to run it again. Let's say node server. We want to allow access. And, I, and it says connected via port 3000. All right, so our web server is running. I just want to mention that you don't have to use server as your file name. We could just as well name this app.js and then said node app. All right, so just so you know that. All right, so now if we go to localhost 3000, all right, and we get this cannot get message, that's because we have nothing in there. All right, so let's go ahead and put in uh, an index.html document. And we'll open that up. Um, and I'm not going to put I'm not going to create a whole HTML document. We'll just say this is the index file. Okay, we'll save that and come over here and reload. And our index file loads. Okay, so we have a web server running which we can add static pages to. So let's say we want to add. In about page. Whoop, don't want to do that. So now we should be able to go to localhost 3000 slash about. Uh, I'm sorry, about HTML. All right. So you could basically just serve static web pages, um, and it's a very, very simple, very fast server. 
Now, if you're building a large app, then you probably want to use something like Express, um, which you can have different kinds of routing systems and things like that. Uh, but we'll, we'll eventually get into that. So that's it for this video. In the next video, I think I just want to go over NPM a little more.